guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here you are welcome my name is beauty Agbontan. so guys today i'm going to be making jollof fries so before the jollof fries i need to make the sauce so i'm going to be showing you guys how i'm going to be you know taking you guys step by step i'm going to be making this sauce guys this uh this jollof fries is going to be two video because i don't want the video to be too long i want going to prepare the sauce different why the jollof fries different so guys let me show you the ingredients which are going to be needed so these are my ingredients which I'm going to be needing for this party jello fries. So I have some tomatoes here, fresh tomatoes. I have about four uh, big bear pepper here. I have onions here. So here I have about eight to ten uh, scotch bonnet pepper. Why here in here I have my ginger. I also have my garlic here. Why here is my blender. So I'm just going to go ahead, wash them, then blend it. Start blending it. Then I'm going to, you know, put it in the fire to boil. I just finished grinding my pepper and tomatoes together. So I'm just going to quickly add my seasoning. Here I have my curry powder. I'm going to be adding one teaspoon of curry powder to it. So here I have my burning. I'm going to add the food sachets to it. Here I have my nutmeg. Why here I have my jello seasoning. I bought this one in an Africa store here. Jello seasoning. So I've not used it before. I'm just going to try it. Try it out today. I'm going to add one teaspoon before they let me test it. I don't know if they sort or mm -hmm. just like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so that will be okay. So that is it. I'm going to close it, let it simmer. Then maybe after 20 minutes that will so it's about 20 minutes now. I'm just going to open it to see how is it. So I'm still going to leave it to simmer because I there's still more water. I want the water to be, you know, the water to go down. So guys, uh, I, when I finished, this is my tomatoes here. I just finished, you know, boiling it, so I, I put it here. So I'm just going to start ahead now and fry it. Here I have my tomato puree. I have about 600 gram here. So I'm going to start with this. So I'm going to stir and stir for the about seven minutes so that it will not get burned. So guys, I've been you know frying it for the bar uh, for the past ten minutes. So I'm just going to taste it. If that's tangible, taste it there. Mm -hmm. I think I'm still going to leave it for about another five minutes. Because the, the reason for this process is just to eliminate that tangible taste. I don't really like that taste. So that is that is one. So in the next five minutes, I'm going to be adding my tomatoes to it. So guys, it's ready now. I'm going to be adding my my tomatoes. So 
so it has been about 10 minutes since I'm so I'm just going to test it to see if the taste is okay. Mm. It's okay, but I'm going to be adding my my chili pepper because the weather is very cold now and it's snowing too, so I need something hot. Salty hot and spicy. So I'm adding one 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 two teaspoon of my chili pepper and also my kitchen glory. This is my kitchen glory. So guys, it's ready. It's ready. So when I'm going to just prepare the jollof rice, it's just to wash the rice, then mix it together with it. That is it for today. Please guys, if today is the first time you coming across my video, maybe you have never seen it before, please guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, subscribe, and also share my video, and the Lord God will bless you. Bye-bye, and see you in my next video. Bye-bye and see you in my next video. God bless you. Bye.